Hey everyone, it's Ivan, KidBadger.com, out here to talk about false realities revolving around mace and pepper spray. In a recent video I did on the Midnight Creeper Mark IV by Black Triangle Group, basically a G10 blade defensive tool, someone had mentioned something about mace. And I was like, honestly, I think it just gives people a false sense of security. And they responded, that, and I was like, this is not a place for like a meaningful discussion. And I probably have more thoughts on it than I care to sit here and type out. And without creating like that nuance, then you probably won't get what I'm saying. Or you're emotionally attached, which is a very real thing. So we'll go ahead and start with probably a lot of people getting get hurt because of a emotional attachment to a device, technique, a method of self-defense. Because, yeah, get attached to it. You're like, I'm doing good, and eh, maybe you're not. So what are issues I have with pepper spray? I'll go ahead and caveat all of this with, there was a point in time where I ended up actually buying my, at the time, wife pepper spray. And I was like, yay, I'm doing good. This way she can protect herself. I'll tell you all the things we did not do. We did not buy two. So she never actually sprayed said pepper spray. We definitely never repped what that was like drawing it out or really established the SOP for how it was carried or any of those other things. So at the end of the day, it was something that probably rode around like inside a purse, maybe center console of a vehicle. I don't know what. And at the end of the day, is pepper spray effective? Effective for what? To get rid of like an angry dog? Yeah, I would, I would agree. Definitely effective for that. Is it effective to disabling someone so you can get away? Mm, what is their willingness like? You'll see the stuff used in riots, like big pepper spray canisters, psh, pepper balls, all that stuff. There's a lack of willingness, largely, on those people's parts. You can also go see it used to very little effect on motivated individuals. As a police officer, I had the distinct pleasure of getting paid, or getting paid, I did get paid, but getting sprayed by pepper spray. And once you get sprayed, then you have to go complete a number of tasks basically beat on someone with a baton, I'm pretty sure beat on someone else with a baton, and then ultimately end up arresting someone, handcuff them. So did this magically disable me and keep me and every single other person there from accomplishing those tasks? No, absolutely not. Was it uncomfortable? Yeah, like I would rather get tased all day every day than get pepper sprayed because this stuff sucks and it sucks for like days as it reactivates, it's miserable, 100%. If someone sprays me with this and I'm intent on killing that person, will this stop me? Nope, not at all. So before we get into effectiveness, let's just talk about how this thing works. Granted, there's a bunch of different kinds, but big picture, how is this being carried? Got a sweet little belt clip here. Have you ever seen anyone with a thing of pepper spray, especially maybe a significant other, a spouse, a woman, with pepper spray clipped onto a belt or a waistline for that matter? Ever, ever, ever. I never have. Probably someone out there, statistically speaking, I'm sure there is one. I've never seen it. So where's this thing get carried? usually in the bottom of like a magical bag of holding, a purse, with everything else thrown in there. So what does that draw stroke look like as far as getting this thing out of there? Probably not very good. Or maybe it's on keys. So cool, I have my keys, and now I'm trying to transition to this other thing, and meanwhile, someone's coming towards me. Like, see how well that works out. 
again, like just the draw stroke, the way these things are deployed does not lend itself to something that is brought out quickly to include from concealment, like a blade or something along those lines. And then on top of that, what's this thing spray like? Like what are we actually, how far are we able to project or spray this stuff? And then before we can even spray it, after we fumble whatever draw stroke, cause probably wasn't repped out, then we defeat usually some sort of safety. Otherwise you probably have pepper spray all over before you ever need it. So this one, you basically move it to the right and then we press down. Yay. Get away from me. Don't rape me. Oh, surprise. I hope the threat's gone because now we're out. Bummer. It's sprayed. I don't know. What? Six or seven yards? Sweet. Granted, sample size of one. I'm sure you can get ones that spray further, do a better job, have more in there, spray longer. Does it matter? Again, rep it out, draw stroke, train with it, all of those things. Is that going to happen? Probably not. And if it does, one, that's awesome. Good on whoever did that. But, comma, we get to effectiveness. What does that look like? Well, it is not effective against someone that is motivated at all. Honestly, the best, most visual way I could play this out is find someone who gave this to their significant other, feels confident in it, and said significant other has this and feels confident in it. And then I start at like 15 yards with like eight ounce gloves, declare, I'm gonna come kill you. And then I just sprint and we see how well this does until I beat them unconscious. I would put money on me, hands down, because this, this isn't gonna do what you think it's gonna do. So we get into, what is it for? Well, I don't know, keep the dogs away, things like that. I'm sure there's some people out there still that are like, but pepper spray, no, but pepper spray, nothing. Like I said, if you have kids and you want to give them something like this for their walking home, because maybe you don't want to give them some sort of lethal weapon. Okay. Like I get it. But even then practice it, rep it out with them. What's it look like getting that out? Actually get a second one or an inert training one or something so they can actually spray it and try it rather than the first time they're trying to draw this thing out of like their backpack with a bunch of Skittles and pencils and stuff in it. Like, no, like there's training involved, but if someone is motivated to rape and or kill, like it's a good way to piss them off. So yeah, it'll probably be all around worse situation for all parties, 100% versus actually buying and putting in time with a tool and a trainer, whether it is something from Black Triangle Group or Amtech Northman, whatever it may be. Now, granted, there is absolutely like a mindset that has to come with that and a willingness and the training piece, like all of those need to come into play. But sending someone out with the door with this, being like, you're good, dick move, like no. That's not a real thing. So you can disagree with me, but I don't know anyone willing to try their pepper spray versus physical violence, even with a 15 yard head start, like not pleasant. Like the reality of this situation. And it's just like anything, like if you have the opportunity to train something out, like train it out. Just like with shooting, you have techniques and tactics and all this stuff, like prove it out. Go do shoot Sims, UTM, stuff like that. Like this is not some magical thing that like, oh no, we're good. We don't need to do anything. Like, no, like this is a false sense of security. Sorry, not sorry. When it comes to real violence, this is not a real thing. 
if you take your personal safety and well-being seriously and that of your loved ones, I would encourage you to actually seek out real tools and real training. There are a lot of good people putting out good information, whether it's Bill Rapier, Amtac Shooting, Craig Douglas, ShivWorks, Ian, Room Nation, all of them have some form of integrative combatives and blade work. A blade with respect to time spent training and capability increase, absolutely 1000% most bang for the buck. But yeah, there is definitely that willingness, training, all of those things that come into play. But a blade will get you way further than some trash like that. Does that mean you shouldn't carry a gun? No, you should definitely carry a gun if you choose to. But with respect to input, time, money, training, blade, massive capability increase. But hopefully this has been helpful. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Forward to seeing you next time.